Hello, everybody. Welcome, fellow travelers. Today, I want to share a concept with you all. I like to call it the House of Mirrors. This is playing with the idea that all we see in the world is filtered through our lens of life. When you go into a house of mirrors, you see various different reflections of the same image. That image is you. So essentially we're looking outside of ourselves to see ourselves reflected back to us. And although the images that we see in this house of mirrors are in our likeness, they never to the senses appear to be a true reflection of ourselves. I find this fascinating because when we go about life, the situations, the stations, circumstances that we've come across in life have helped feed beliefs, concepts, filters that we work through or work from in order to see our beliefs reflected back to us in the world. Hence why we all feel right. Because whatever we feel, whatever we experience, whatever we decide is true for us. It's reflected back to us in the world. In ways that we do and don't understand. Now, working from that concept. It's the house of mirrors. Now, interestingly enough. The house of mirrors gives us distorted reflections when we look outside of us. But what if we turn our focus inward? What happens then? Do we see the same distortions? Or do we get a clear reflection of who we truly are? For myself on my own journey, I found the latter to be true. When we go within ourselves and we question the things that we believe we know, sometimes we realize that we don't believe those same things anymore. We don't think the same anymore. We don't feel the same anymore. Those are those souvenirs that we've been holding on to that no longer serve us. So being able to swap out a souvenir for a better one to our liking, change a thought to a better one of our liking, or even remove a concept in general, it allows space for new information to come in, for new souvenirs to be gathered, for new ideas to be embraced or challenged. When we can see those things within, we can see our reflection in its entirety because we see what is manifesting into our outward appearance what's inside comes to the surface in our habits in the ways that we treat ourselves in the ways that we treat others so these various souvenirs if you will they show themselves to us whether we like it or not whether we understand it or not So for this idea of the house of mirrors, which we'll visit at a later time, let's remember that the things that we do see outside of us, it's only a reflection of what's inside of us. We can only see what we identify with. And when we see it on the outside, it will always be distorted and never in the likeness of us. Because in order to see the true reflection of those beliefs within us, we must go within ourselves. We must evaluate and see ourselves for who we are. And only then can we understand the distortions that we see. Any thoughts, insights, questions, comments, they're always welcome. Until next time, These are the thoughts to share at the moment. I look forward to speaking to you fellow travelers and sharing more insights.
and hopefully hear some insights of yours as well. Until then, be blessed.